In this video, we are going to see how to write a newsletter using OpenAI. So let's say that you are using Google Sheets and in this sheet you have got various titles. With these titles, you want to create a newsletter. And for this, you are using OpenAI, which is an artificial intelligence software that helps you to create content. And then you want to create a document, Google Docs, and then save this data there. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to integrate these three applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here, these three applications would be integrated. Your trigger application would be Google Sheets, your action application would be OpenAI and another one would be Google Docs. This entire process will be set up, integrated, automated and you can do it yourself. How would you do it? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL babbly.com slash connect and as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you already have an account, simply sign in. If you are a new user, then you will have to sign up and it is not going to take more than two minutes. Also, at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I already have an account here, I'm going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the all apps page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Now on the right hand side, you can see the option create workflow. Let's click on this tab. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that I have got some titles for newsletters. Every month I have to send newsletters and with these titles, I want to generate the content for my newsletters and then post them. First create a document, then post it on that document and then later it has to be saved in my Google Drive. So here I'm going to name it as Google Sheets Open AI. Google Docs integration. Let's click on create. So once done, here we have reached another window which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action is the response of my trigger. Here, I'm going to choose the first application as Google Sheets. So here is the sheet and now it is asking me for the trigger event. This is the event that will make my workflow start, which is new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here we have received a webhook URL, which is actually going to act as a bridge for connecting the two applications. Let's copy this once done. Now this is the Google sheet that I've already created. So these are the newsletter titles and this is general date which is it is supposed to be posted on this particular date now to first connect this particular google sheet with pabli connect we have to go to extensions go to add-ons and then get add-ons once we are here this is the google workspace marketplace here you have to look for the application pabli connect webhooks this is it and now you have to install it on your system. So if it isn't installed, install it. I already have done it. Once done, let's close this. Go back to extensions and you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks here. Remember to go to initial setup. Once you are here, you can see that it has automatically captured the name of the sheet. Now I'm going to delete the URL and paste the URL that we have just copied. And here the trigger column would be column B. What is the trigger column? Basically, it is the final data column on which the data is added. So for us, it is B. Let's click on send test. Now here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Let's click on submit. So also you have to remember there that, you know, here we have send on events. This has to be checked. So now I'm going to take you back to Public Connect. And here you can see that we have received the API response. So new letter titles. So this is the title. This is to be posted on this particular date, the name of the spreadsheet ID, etc. Once this is done, I have to create the content. For this, I'm going to use the action application OpenAI. Let's click on this. 
and now the action event would be to generate content let's click on connect and here public connect is asking to connect itself with the open ai account for this i'm going to click on add new connection and here we need a token to set up this connection now we are going to go and click on this hyperlink over here i have already logged into my open ai account and this is the secret key let's just copy it go back to public connect and paste it over here and then click on save so once done here you can see that we have received some information like select ai model prompt maximum token select sampling type etc to understand what is this first let me take you to my open ai account so this is my open ai account i have already logged in this is the dashboard it is an extremely interesting and helpful application based on artificial intelligence which helps us in creating content you can create formal content of any length from zero characters to 4000 tokens now here we have to go to playground once we are here and before i start i'm going to show you some magic so if i say that write a newsletter on the title and let me give it a title which is are we keeping a check on our health now as soon as i write this and i submit we'll see some magic and yes here you can see that it has already started to write a newsletter for us now a newsletter can be as long and as short as you wish and the same can be done here by customizing the length of this letter now let's say that i have selected it for 500 and i'm again going to first i'm going to delete this and now i'm going to submit it once again and now here you can see that we have started to get a longer message so isn't that interesting now now let's understand the setting part so here we have got different modes then we have the model we are going to choose text the c 2 why because this is the most capable model in the gpt3 series then we have the temperature it controls randomness basically as the temperature approaches zero so it will become really repetitive so if you do not want it to be repetitive you can take it from 0 0.7 to 1 this is the default setting 0 0.7 then we have the maximum length i have already told you how you can change this you can go up to 4000 tokens then we have the top p then frequency penalty is it decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line so you can make it zero and you can take it up to one similarly presence penalty it increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics again you can make it zero to one so let's say that i want to make it one and here also i want to make it one now it generates multiple completion server side and displays only the best so you can select best up to 10 so let me select best up to three once this is done let me also show you what is prompt so if i click on this view code here you can see prompt and the prompt is everything that you have written before you write submit so this particular part write a newsletter on the title and the, this entire title this is your prompt now i'm taking you back to public connect and here the model has already been selected now the prompt so let me write write a newsletter on the title and then i'm going to map the name of this title mapping means that i have received this information in my previous step and i'm just going to retrieve it here so going to the first step this is the title once done maximum tokens we have selected is 500 here then the select sampling type we already know this is temperature sampling you have got two options temperature and nucleus sampling we are going to go for temperature sampling then we have the sampling value the default is 0 0.7 so if you do not write a number here it will automatically capture 0 0.7 so i'm just going to write it anyway then we have the presence penalty we have selected as one this is also we have selected as one the stop sequence now if i show you the stop sequence this is like if you write this particular part then the api will stop generating further tokens so this is very important let's say i have written double backslash and double hashtag so this is my stop sequence this will stop generating further tokens going back to public connect here i'm going to write double backslash double hashtag 
and the best of we have selected it as three let's click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the api response and this is the text so this is the newsletter that we have received right so once this is done my next objective is first i have to create a google document and then i have to make sure that this information gets there so i'm going to add another action step here which is google doc here is the application let's go here once done the action event here would be to create a blank document let's click on connect and now i'm going to click on add new connection why because public connect is asking to connect itself with google docs account let's click on this i have already logged in so i'm just going to select the account and then authorize it let's click on continue and here you can see that the authorization has been successful now the name of the document so i wish to create my document with the same name as the name of the title so i'm going to go to google sheets and click on the title next click on save and send test request so as soon as we have done that i'm going to take you to my google docs now and here if i refresh this page here you can see blessed are those who are organized this particular document has been created and it's absolutely blank going back to public connect my next objective is to make sure that the content that i've just created should become a part of this document so here again i'm going to look for google doc application let's go to action event and this time i'm going to append a paragraph to a document let's click on connect and again here i'm going to just go with the existing connection let's click on save and now see this is the document so here i'm going to first toggle this towards the right and now i'm going to map this information what do i want i'm looking for this document id that i've just created this is the document id so here i'm going to go down click on this go to step three and now i'm going to simply come at the last and this is the document id so once done what text do i want to be a part of this so first i'm going to write the title every time i want the same format then the name of the title which is this and then i'm going to press enter and here i'm going to go to step two and look for the text that i want to be a part of my document and finally click on save and send test request now i'm going to take you back to my document and here you can see this is the title and this is the newsletter that i want to write this means that our integration process is a complete success now what i'm going to do is i'm going to check this for life for real for that i'm going to take you back to my google sheet and here i'm going to add another newsletter title which is life is a sip of coffee okay and this has to be posted on let's say 1st october 2022 right so once this is done the moment i have written this title over here what should happen first of all open ai should create a content a newsletter and then the same should become a part of the document that it is going to create with the same title life is a sip of coffee so now i'm going to take you back to my google documents and here you can see life is a sip of coffee with this title a document has been created and if i go inside so this is my entire newsletter so i hope that you are absolutely clear with this now i'm going to take you back to Pabli connect and quickly understand the entire process once again our trigger application was google sheets where our trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row we had given it certain titles now with these titles we had integrated open ai google sheet and open ai and it has started to generate content then our next action application was to first create a blank document on google docs and then the last action application was to append a paragraph to a document in google docs so if in case you have any other doubt you can always refer to the workflow that we have just worked on it is there in the video description or you can clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any other suggestion or advice you can always write to us i hope this was helpful to watch more such videos you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on youtube if you have any queries you can write to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans then you can visit us at this particular site 
Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.